All right, welcome to our last, like, kind of last call. I don't know what we're going to do. No, the next one's New Year's Eve, <laughs> so, because it's Christmas Eve and then New Year's Eve. So this might be our last call of 2019. I didn't think about that, but I think, I guess it is. I know summer usually does kind of like a goal setting, like, one on in there, um, and I figured we would maybe join with that. Um, We'll see. Probably our last official team was full one, which is exciting. Um, so anyway, there she is. Um, just wanted to share a couple things. I mean, you guys all know Bar Blend is out and available for everyone. Just wanted to reiterate, if you were an active coach, I think it was like on December 3rd or something like that, you got three codes to use, $10 codes, um, and you can just give it to the person and then they'll get $10 off if it's 140 or more. Um, so if they want to order um, Bar Blend or, you know, or, or whatever. Um, so that's just something cool to offer to people in December as like an added incentive. Um, one thing I've heard is don't be like, hey, I have a code. Do you want to use it? You know, like it's kind of weird. But as you're talking to someone and they're like, oh, maybe say, actually, I have three codes left and I would love to give you one. You know, you use it more towards like the closing or explaining instead of just like, or if it's someone you have been talking to, you can be like, hey, I, you know, I do have three codes right now and I know you were on the fence or, you know, but you don't want to do it. Just lead with the lead with money because I think sometimes that's weird. So um, follow up for Mary Fitness. It was not as like active as some of our other free groups. I think it's just time of year, maybe. Maybe it was too hard. Like we've done one before where it was like do 15 Russian twists and they just did it right then. You know, remember that, Sarada? Um, hey, girl. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's too hard to click a link, but I think, it, you know, it's maybe harder than what do you think, Sarada? Versus like, uh, last well, year? well, I have one that's in there and she's like I am gonna do it it's just been really crazy and I was yeah. like it's totally fun like you have it forever like and so she actually she might sign up I don't know uh -huh. um I'm talking to her about doing like the whole shebang but um then I have someone that I connected with on Instagram my first actual like I guess real connection from Instagram she's yeah. like I just love y'all's group she hasn't done anything yet but she's like it's so positive good <laughs> Yeah, I think I, it was good. I'm getting that. I sent out, I can all share what I sent, but I just said, hey, I just wanted to touch base with you. I know it's a busy time of year, but how was the Mary Fitness group? Did you get to try anything? That way I wasn't like attacking them if they didn't do anything, <laughs> you know, kind of giving them out and just say, you know, were any of the tips helpful to you? And everybody who, like people who didn't do anything were like writing back and they're like, yes, I'm sorry. It was so busy, but I loved it. And you know, it's like keeping the conversation going. And one girl just wrote me, she posted in the group. She's like, I just did morning meltdown and my shirt is soaking wet. I was like, okay, random. Thank you. I'm glad you did it. You know, so like we can kind of keep continuing on with it. And you know, um, I don't think it was a bad thing that we did it. I guess I just thought there would be more interaction in it. Like, but hey, well, it's okay. Um, I think it would be good. keep up with those people. Um, you know, just it creates those those bridges or whatever and so bar and Mary fitness and then win the winter is going to be the name of our group um it's in fit club it just stays we just change the header and kind of like you know start <laughs> like to, just to give people a date it helps to have a date to be like we're starting on january 6th or you know like when you're inviting um because it creates that urgency when you're talking to someone instead of like do you want to do with this with me eventually <laughs> you know which like but if you're like hey we're starting on this date it gives you something to kind of invite to and like you know you need to get this you know I don't know just urgency works better when you know like shopping for Christmas like it you know it helps to have a like something you're going for yeah are we starting that on the third so um I, what do you guys want to do I sort of feel like we should start like the sixth because like that's the next Monday or but we can just change the name on the third or like um, okay. Well, so well, everyone's going to be starting bar on the third now instead of the 13th. That's right. So it's, it's, well, it's available the third. I don't know if everyone will start. You think people will start the third? We can start the third. I mean, I'm fine to start third. I guess I just was going to ask you guys in the page what you thought, um, about that, but I, I'll just interject. I don't like starting on the third. I feel like are people going to have that coming right off of new year's and craziness? Because you have to prep a couple days ahead of time, I yeah. feel like. Yeah. Um, hey, if you're going to do a meal plan or whatever, or plan, I don't know. That's just me. I know, like, 
I'm going by a, like Thanksgiving because I think we started the Mary Fitness right after Thanksgiving. And I like, I'm trying to travel home. I don't have groceries. I'm, you know, da, 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 and we're starting like, yeah. the day after. So I guess, I guess the six sounds better to me, but that's well, just. Well, the, 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 the third I didn't realize Thursday. it was a Friday. The third is a Thursday. Um, Wait. I thought no. it was, the first is a Wednesday. Oh, yeah, so it's like a Friday. Because the sixth is a Monday, because that's when the kids go back Why'd to school. Why'd they do that instead of just the sixth? <laughs> I think they should have done it the sixth. I think some people were like, I want to start after New Year's, like, and they just really wanted it. And But that's why I'm saying we don't have to start on the third. I think the sixth is a good, like, Monday, Monday, people just... You don't have to start on a Monday, but I think people like to start on a Monday. <laughs> you know, it like feels like, um, and that's why they were having bar be like January 13th, because if you get someone that's like on January 1st or 2nd and they're like, I need to do something and you're like, okay, and they buy it, they're not going to get it, you know, for like several days. Um, and so that's why they like transform 20 didn't come out until like at least the second week in January last year. So that well, bar is like, a little different because you don't actually need the materials. I mean, it's all on true. Beach Body on Demand. It. Yep, that's true. You needed the and step with. We needed the step before last time. You're right. So yeah, it's true. So they can order it on the second or third and start on the second or third if they really wanted to. I guess you're right. Um, but the yeah, let's like great. officially have our group be the six. The cool thing is our group is ongoing. It's not like we're not going to open the group until the six or something like that. Um, but we'll just, for inviting purposes, let's say it's the six. How about that? Does that sound good to everybody? Um, it's really helpful for me because I was like, I'm running out of days to do it in 100. <laughs> oh, t- t- before you start like bar. <laughs> I don't okay. want to finish MM100 at all. I just want to do all yeah. the prep workouts for the bar, but here we are. I'm going to com- finish my commitment. <laughs> Good job. I actually did. I don't know if you guys saw. I did. Um, today I was like kind of getting sick of bar a little just cause it's like the same ones, like, cause there's not more of them. And I'm like, okay, I've done these, like, um, not sick of it, but anyway, I just wanted a break. And so I was like, I had written down that day 97 was like awesome downbeat strength one. And I was like, I'm going to do that. Cause that was like a really good workout. And I just, I don't know at that. Cause maybe it's like leg work and there's a lot of leg and bar. I don't, I was just like, I hate this. Like I'm not into it. at all. <laughs> so I turned it off and I did size and then, which was really fun. And just like, I just need to move today and like get sweaty. And it was, I was super sweaty. And then Brian's like, do you want to do lift four with me? I was like, yes. Like <laughs> he's asking, I'll do it. So I did lift four and then also fire emoji after that. So I had a lot of workouts. <laughs> hope you ate a lot of food <laughs> I know. and then I went I was going to a brunch like and I was like oh I don't know what there will be um so I drank my shake right before I went and it was I just had like cheese and grapes and I didn't really want anything else so it was good um but yeah anyway okay well Renee is here I think that's it just follow up with people I think I you know I've been saying it in different places um Like it is a time of year where people are busy. We're all busy. I know I'm busy. I was out, you know, like all day, all day and then came home for 15 minutes and then left and just got home. So, um, it's been a really busy day for me too. So, you know, we, we just know that when the people write you, like they're not necessarily, um, avoiding you, they're busy. You know, everybody's just really busy and they're like, you're going to be, I think Angie used the word like swimming around in their head or something like that. You know, like they're going to be like, oh yeah. That Cheryl girl just wrote me about that or you know like they're gonna remember um and they're gonna be like oh yeah I saw Renee's post like um to just keep sharing keep saying it even when um I, I mean so many times people are like yeah I see your posts I'm like you do like you've never liked any of them you've never commented you know you don't know who's but I think of that too like how many times I scroll and I don't like or comment but yeah I kind of knew what they're up to like you know you, you kind of can get the gist so um yeah. Anyway. All right. Mr. Renee, ready girl? I'm ready. Awesome. Oh, why I keep doing this to myself. I always get so like ah, sweaty hands and I'm like, what? Why do I worry? <laughs> it's good. It's normal. It's normal. Do 10, do five pushups before you do it. That's what it is. It helps. My like, a physical. are so dead from lift. Like I was like doing the bar today and I was like, no. <laughs> I have like jumping jacks. I don't know. Something. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So 
I'm going to talk to you guys about um, showing vulnerability on social media. Um, I think it is super important to do this specific exercise that I'm going to talk to you guys about um, no matter where you are in your journey, whether that's with your fitness journey or with your coach journey, um, because it plays a big part in where we are with sharing on social media, whether you're brand new or you're a seasoned vet. Um, so I always recommend to anybody that I'm talking to or whoever is just starting to write down where you are mentally, physically, emotionally, what things are holding you back from achieving any daily responsibilities, normal tasks, whether those are like chores, playing and being active with your children, heck, even having a romance with your husband, like what things are holding you back from being able to achieve all of that. Um, I know for myself, I spoke so negatively to myself on a daily basis that anybody would have questioned their worth. Um, I didn't feel like I was able to keep up physically with the kids. By two o'clock almost every day, I felt like I needed a nap, which my, that's when my kids are waking up from their nap, so it never always worked out very well. Um, I knew I wasn't there for Sean the way I was supposed to be, even just as a friend with him. Like I would, I would tap out as soon as the kids went to bed and and I just went to bed too, and we didn't have that relationship anymore. Um, plus, I didn't really want him to see me that way because I wasn't comfortable in my own skin. So now, I'm a totally different story. Um, I've allowed myself to only speak positively, and even when I have my off days of feeling icky and stuff like that, um, I know how I can switch it back and really make sure those thoughts don't linger for too long and become a truth because they're only there for a second and then you can kick it away. Um, I have a lot more energy <clears throat> in my life in general. Um, I Many people will all normally see me double carrying my children, one on each hip, and I can make it up that ridiculous hill on the way to church and it's okay. Like I can make it. <laughs> um, I give Aaron piggyback rides now and I don't get winded or out of breath. Um, my relationship with Sean is the best it's been in a long time, not only physically because I've changed physically, but because my head is, is where it ought to be. Um, yes, all this is great. And you're probably thinking, well, what does that have to do with sharing on social media? Knowing your struggles and what you face before and how you overcome them plays a huge part in what you're willing to share on social media. If you can speak from experience, your audience will hear it and they'll know. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <coughs> Who I am now doesn't worry about the judgment. Sorry, it's bedtime here. <laughs> Who I am now doesn't worry about the judgment and everything that comes whenever I post anything because it doesn't matter if you're in the best shape of your life, you're the smartest person in the world, you're the CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Everybody has an opinion. It's, it's always gonna be there. So you might as well just learn to let it not affect you and do it because you're searching out for that person that's feeling depressed, that has all that wonderful, loose, saggy skin and that doesn't know what to do with it. Like you're posting these things, not for the crap that is bound to happen, but for that person that's still hiding in their skin and they're trying to figure out that they're not alone. So showing the vulnerability, showing your insecurities is gut-wrenching but I feel like the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And man, if you had <laughs> told me eight months ago, hey, you're going to share a video about how you lost all this weight and now your stomach sags down to your knees. I would have never thought that that was even a possibility. I've been like, no, you're crazy. I hide that from myself. I'm not showing anybody else. <laughs> but now, like I did that and I got so much positive feedback and started so many more conversations with people that I didn't even have any kind of relationship with. So it was, it was just so nice to know that putting myself out there like that gets the positive feedback. And yeah, I'm sure people probably thought negative things like, ew, her stomach is disgusting or whatever. But I didn't hear that. I didn't worry about that part. I was just like, 
yeah, you, you're experiencing the same thing. Like your journey is going to be totally different than my journey. But if it, if it goes this way, know that it's okay because the physical process is not all it is. It's so much more mental. Like the mental game is crazy and you need to remind yourself that like, even when you're feeling down and depressed, like, man, I'm not having any changes or man, I would have thought my biceps would have been ginormous by now. Know that things don't happen don't happen overnight like it is a process and that your day of doing it today is going to make the end goal that much closer like when I used to go on walks with Aaron I was telling him all the time <laughs> he used to get really mad at me because I'd drag him for like three mile walks and he's like mom I just don't I can't get back I'm like every step you take we get that much closer so if you just keep going we're going to be home before you know it and sure enough usually chasing a butterfly, we got home pretty fast. <laughs> so you just have to remember, like, it's each little step, but every time you post on social media, every time you open that door for that vulnerability, you're that much closer to making that connection with your people. So we just got to keep chugging away. <laughs> so I think that's kind of it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking notes because it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> um, so I know, why don't you give us a couple examples and then we can see, um, like I know you shared that video about like your skin. Yeah. You want to give some more examples of like being vulnerable? I've also shared um, where I broke down emotionally simply because there wasn't childcare for mm -hmm. PWOC one time. And that was like my outlet, my socialization and just, Everybody's like, well, you always got it so together. You're like super mom. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. No, I like I I have moments too, and it's perfectly okay to cry and let it out. And I share my struggles with the kids a lot, like how <laughs> when they wake up early and they cut into my me time, mm -hmm. man, sometimes it really makes me mad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just like daily struggles like that where you're you feel so isolated and so alone. Like, I feel like those are when you should mm -hmm. let it out in a healthy way. Mm -hmm. um, one of the articles I just posted about the resentment, I, you rarely, well, you always hear like the wives bickering about their husbands and nitpicking and stuff like that. But just to know that it's totally 100% healthy to feel negative emotions sometimes. And while I know he didn't do anything wrong, like I was still feeling them. So it, I feel like people live a life sometimes where they think that I need to be 100% okay all the time. And that you don't have to be, N not at all. Like it's perfectly normal to have those days where you don't want to leave your bed and you just kind of want to cry a little bit. Get it out real quick and then boop. Mm -hmm. it, you you still have to move on with your day, but it's okay to feel that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, the red is saying. Brad, I am reading too. <laughs> yeah, Brad Biz Jack is he's like a what do you call him? Life coach, personal development, something or other. Um, yeah. And Soretta and I and other people, uh, other people in like Team Courage, um, like paid to go through his like course. It's called like Appreciation Academy, and it's like all these online videos and really really good stuff. Um, but like digging, digging deep with that, but yeah, no, I think that that is so true. Um, and I know they kind of talked about that with sharing in, I think it was in the fitness group, but like, um, so many people like have those feelings, like you say, but when you're vulnerable and so like saying like, have you ever had a day where you didn't want to get out of bed all day long? Like some people might not ever feel that way, but the ones who do were like, what like what is she talking about and they're like instantly like she she got me we ever cried in the dressing room you know like different questions like that have you ever um just been so overwhelmed with your two kids that you just wanted to just sit on the couch and cry or something you know like cheerless whatever it is like something that you're going through it's hard to share for fear of what you're you know people might say or something but like you said you're going to connect you know with that one person um that is going to be able to relate and and connect with that and one thing with when there's different than different than sharing 
I know you, you didn't say this, but I know you mean it. Like there's one thing to get on the, like, I hate my kids. I'm so upset that they, um, you know, woke up and like, I didn't get to do my work by like kids suck hashtag, you know, like there's people that post like that. Like, you know, like I, I, I have a couple friends it's like, and they post like the most terrible things. And, um, I, for this one, she says like, uh, I can't remember what it is, but it's awful. Like, I'm like, I can't believe you write that. Like, but she's like, toddlers, you know, are blah, blah. I don't, anyway, it's like really bad, but, but like what you're saying is share the emotion, but then like share the positive twist on it. Like, yes. Make you sure know, you always put a positive twist on it or else then you're just going to look like a Debbie Downer and yeah. nobody's going to want to pay yeah. you two cents. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like share the hope, share the light, share the solution, share the, you know, like, you know, like, like we have so many tools, like so many different, different things, you know, so what, what has figured you, you know, I know like Sreda shares a lot, like about how gratitude, you know, has helped shifted her mindset. So, you know, that's a tool to help people like write down your three things. Like if you've known me for any length of time, I make you like write down your three things on any area that you're struggling with. And I have to do it for myself. Like, Hey, this is really bugging me. This person, this thing, this whatever, all well, three things, like, <laughs> like preach what I, you know, but it works like, because you can't, it's that limbic brain thing. Like when you see a new car, like if you're looking for the bad, I mean, Bradley's been, comes home and he's like, it's the worst day ever. And he's like listing off these things that went wrong, like really minor little things. We're like, buddy, you're just looking for the, you know, you're, you're in that mindset of all the bad things that happened, which aren't even really bad things, but you know, we're like good things happen too, but you've got to switch your brain to look for the, you know, to look for good. So we can, we get to teach that to people, you know, share that with people. And that's awesome. Yeah. And I think always staying genuine and real. Like I used to think, oh my gosh, I'm going to be a coach. Like I don't have a body of a coach. Like mm-hmm. who's going to want to join me looking like this. And I think being more real, being more genuine. Yep. It, it, like that's who I want. want. Yeah, yeah. Like want to come attract or attracted to you for that because you don't look like something completely unattainable. Yep. Like, yeah. I yeah. think it's just. I think yeah. you look pretty good there, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I think it's totally it's totally true. Like you know, presenting just fakeness and like you know, it's like uh, well, who wants to. Nobody likes fake. They're just like, yeah. like I was super fake? proud of Loretta for showing off her belly. Woo woo! <laughs> I think I might have missed that. Is that in the group or was that on your? I'm Did pretty it... sure it would have been in Fit Club and not on my yeah. actual page. I don't know. Yeah, I think it was just in Fit Club. Okay. Yes. Awesome. But I was still very proud of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it is important. And the more, um, I know it's at Summit, they shared, I just always keep remembering, she was like, if you only share half of you, you're only going to reach half the people you're meant to reach, you know, and and that's always kind of stuck with me, like sharing the different things. And anyway, I don't know if you guys saw Natalie's like, she, we did like mud masks and then she's like can we have like a dance party and we like had this dance party there was no alcohol involved I promise like we were just like having a great time and Brian was like I can't believe you put that video on and I was like why not that's what we do like all the time like if you know and, and I like had this whole thing in my head after he said that like I have a whole bunch of friends that probably are like what you listen to um you know, Old Town Road, like, that's like a secular song, blah, 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 you know, and I went through all this thing in my head of, like, people might be judging us that we dance or we listen to music that wasn't on Christian music, and, like, I went down this whole, <laughs> like, thing, and then I was like, you know what, like, we do, like, is that what we listen to the most of the time? No. And do we listen to music with bad words? No. Like, you know, like, it's okay, like, this is me, and the people that really have a hard time that I listen to that song, like, oh, well, they can think less of me and that's okay. <laughs> because like, I, you know, trying to pre- present myself as this perfect person that, you know, I, not perfect, but like, I don't know. I don't know. You know, just whatever. Um, the Brian, Brian, <laughs> yes. He will only do it in the house. <laughs> and like, it, that's like the Brian that comes out like once a year um, <laughs> and not usually in front of other people. But I, and I think that's why I kind of wanted to share it because I think some people, you know, just think that like, you know, whatever. Yes, I know. He's, he's very good with kids. He's probably better than 
with baby. Well, I said for a long time, like, you're a what? Because you don't look like you're Jim. That's not the person you portray. Yeah, yeah I know. And I, I need to continually, like, work on that, like, trying to share. And, you know, because I think people who know me in person know that I'm more, like, fun. But I remember one time it was, like, what's a word that describes me or something? And all these people are, like, organized, oh, like, all this stuff. And I was, like, no, like that is like somehow I'm just presenting all my meal prep and like people think that like, you know, like that isn't really me. Like, you know, um, I like to be organized in some ways. Like I like to organize pantries, but <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. But anyway, but it just goes back to sharing, you know, share the real you share. Um, I think that I'm freer in stories because I feel like not everybody watches them and they go away and like, I feel like it's easier to just kind of be me, like, you know, or I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, anything else that we want to talk about? I know it's a busy time of year, so we can not go on. Is there questions or like conversations you have? Um, anything anybody wants to, to share? Like I'm talking to this girl or, you know, anything? Anybody, anybody? No, no, no. One thing just to remember, if you do, for those of you, Renee, some, and, and especially Soretta, like people that um, their bot is going to renew, and are you, do you check that regularly? Um, you can check that um, uh, under like subscription. I have like a video in Team Local about it somewhere, but it's under subscription thing and you can pull down bod and see like when it's going to renew. So I always check it towards the end of the month, like for the next month and I write those names down. Um, cause they can renew with like a challenge pack, um, because they're going to renew for $99, but they can renew for like 140 or 160 and get like more Shaco or more, um, you know, whatever. Uh, so it's a way like, and it helps you kind of, you get like two points and you'll get like a, a little more commission, but they are like, it's a way to reconnect and get them to like re come on board and like, Oh yeah, I'm going to recommit to this or, or something. And also, they feel like you care about them because I'm always like, Hey, I want to save you money, you know, and they're like, Oh, cool. Thank you for letting me know, you know, or whatever. Are you say something, Sreda? So I had a coach that's under me that just her bod renewed, but I knew she wanted to do bar and it was within the last couple of weeks. Cause I think I just got the, like the check, not the actual check, but yeah. the saying that I'm going to get a check. If I reach out to her, then she could talk to, okay. mm -hmm. does she have to do anything specific to do that? Like she can just call them and say she wanted to change it to that. Yep. She should be able to just call or online chat. They do well, which, and now okay. they have like messenger, which I've never been able to use it. But when I've looked, it's like chat, call or messenger. And I'm like messenger, <laughs> like, um, it's never available. Cause it like doesn't start till West coast time. Like it's always like I have, I just haven't been able to use it. Um, but the chat works really well and phone call too. Um, but she can just say, Hey, I want to upgrade in my recent bod renewal, um, to a bar challenge pack or bar completion pack or whatever. Okay. Um, and so when you do do it, like they have to cancel the auto renew and then order a challenge pack. So it's like a two step process. If their bot goes through, then they can upgrade. It's a little bit easier. So sometimes I just kind of like have them <laughs> let it <laughs> expire, you know, like let it renew and then be like, okay, let's, let's upgrade. Cause I've done it a few times where I had them, you know, like cancel it cause it was going to expire on the 14th. So on the 12th, they like canceled their bod and then ordered again. Does that make sense? Yeah, but so if she already, the bod's already done, yep. I don't know when, her, I don't remember when her Shakeology ships, but if she upgrades it, then she just needs to cancel the other Shakeology? Probably the other one, yes. Mm -hmm. Unless she's getting like a performance pack, you know, with like Energize and Recover. Oh, okay. And then she could keep her Shaco and then just go. So just a tip for you guys, I always, always order everything I ever order on HD because $2 shipping. If you don't, so like if you're like, I need more recover and you go on an order, just recover, um, you're going to pay like $8 shipping. But if you put it on HD, um, you'll pay $2 and then you can literally go on the, like I do it the next day, not immediately or whatever, um, and go and cancel it. Um, and so it's just a way to, to save money. So, hmm. yep. And I try to, I pretty much always get a pack too. And like in Brian, in Brian's name, you know, for like the, um, what's it called 
like bar, like I ordered a bar completion pack so that we got more products because we use Energize and Recover and get it for, you know, a discounted price. Um, cause we use it anyway, rather than like paying, I mean, we get the coach price, but like you get the additional <laughs> coach price or whatever. I know Sean's, uh, recover and <clears throat> energized single serving ones finally came in today and he like was holding up like the beach oh, yeah? boxes. Okay. He's like walking by the kitchen. I'm like, yay. Now I don't have to pack you little baggies anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him working out in the gym. That's pretty awesome. Way to go, Sean. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I will leave you with this random, not random, but cool thing and a reminder, like a, a don't do what I did thing. <laughs> so I told Renee this because we know this person. Um, I was in the store today and she like came up to me and she's like, oh, hi, Jen. And I hadn't seen her in a pretty long time. And then I was like, oh, hey. And then she kept walking and she came back to me <laughs> and I was like, okay. Um, and then she was like, I'm really sorry if my message was um, was too much for you and like it, it was just way too much for you and I was like your message like I don't know like I, and I was like racking my brain like I don't know because I invited her to coaching and she kind of told me no and she's like that's not my thing and I remember asking her why and she was like I just couldn't do that and then I think I was like okay well I'm always here and like we just I thought we ended it and so I just hadn't really followed up with it. Like, not that ended the friendship, but like, I, you know, I, I had thought we ended it, so I hadn't really been following up with her. Um, turns out she had written me this like several paragraph page about how she struggles with anxiety and depression and worrying about what people think about her. And on social media, she gets her feelings hurt by people not responding to her. Like she wrote all this out and I never saw it. Like I never read that because I know I would remember that and I would have written back. <laughs> like I would not have read that and like not written back, but it's in my inbox. Like, you know, when I went to her name um, and she wrote <laughs> this whole thing about feeling bad about people not getting back to her. And like, I never got back to her. <laughs> so for like, and I looked at the date, it was November 13th. So it's been a month, like more than a month. And she's been worried that I don't like her for like a month, which like hurts my heart. Um, Anyway, so my fault for like not following up and also just at some point, I think it must have come up and it looked like I read it, but it didn't because I'm really careful to try to say Mark is unread so that like I make sure if I'm not writing back right now that I can get back to it and stuff. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I talked with her in the thing and I said, I really don't think I got that. You know, like I said, I somehow and she goes, I know you're busy. And I said, I do get a lot of messages a day and I try to be on it, but I'm really sorry. Cause I definitely, you know, I didn't even know what she'd said till I got home. Um, but she kind of just told me a little bit, but we got to talk about it and talk about a lot of stuff and told her that, um, you don't have to share cause she sees Renee and I share. And I said, you can be like a challenger and just work on you. Cause I said a lot of time, you know, people that have anxiety, like exercising can be a really good outlet and positive support. And, and then I told her, and I said, we kind of, you know, share tips and talk about emotions. And she's like, you guys go deep. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, we do. Like, you know, and I said, but it's at your level. Like we don't, you know, we don't force you to like, you can just watch and see. So anyway, she's going to, she's going to try. And I sent her the message after I got home and, um, read what she had said. And I felt so terrible, but so the lesson is you don't have to be perfect because I'm sure not, <laughs> but, um, number two, like if you make a mistake, I mean, it makes you real, like talk about being vulnerable, you know? And I, I said, I, you know, I totally apologize. Like I, I definitely would have responded to this had I seen it and it just got lost and, but also like track your people and check in with them in more than a month. Cause I might've found that I might've seen that. And, um, but yeah, so yeah, that's my, my story for you. <laughs> Um, let me take a picture of us and I'll let us go. I'm going to eat my dinner. Cheryl, can you come back? And I know if you're doing something with your baby. There you are. Okay. <laughs> picture really quick. I'll try to move my phone so it's not in it. Okay. One, two, three. Yay. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Happy 2020. Oh, I know we'll see each other in the, in the groups and stuff, but, um, I'm excited about stuff. Hang in there. Keep messaging, um, and keep reaching out to people. Uh, Keep posting about bar. If you haven't tried it, try it. Cause I think it, it is, um, even if it's not your thing, it's good to, to, it might be someone else's thing. It might be the perfect thing that they need. Um, so not everything has to be our thing, but at the same time I was thinking about it. It was like, if you worked at Starbucks or McDonald's, like you might not like certain things, but you need to know what they are. 
Um, and so that you can be like, yeah, this is the tea. I never drink the tea, but you know, like you, when someone asks you about it, you know about it. So, um, I know you guys have tried it. I'm pretty sure, but others listening, um, just, it helps to, to know what we are offering. So, all right. Love you guys. Have a great night. I'll talk to you later. Bye.